What is going on guys? It's Courtney and I am back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to program your MIDI controller to read parameters within Logic Pro. So say you want to control your volume or your pan using your MIDI controller. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's go. I already have this beat together and I'm going to show you the importance of automation and furthermore, the importance of being able to automate using your hardware rather than using your mouse. One of the main reasons I like to program my MIDI knobs and faders to Logic is when I'm mixing. I like to be able to manually adjust the knobs rather than using my mouse. So let me show you guys how you can do that. I mentioned this in my linking your Akai MPK Mini to Logic video, but let's break it down even further. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna move the fader just a little bit and then we're gonna go up to Logic Pro we're gonna to go to control surfaces and you should see a section that says learn assignment. And hopefully in parentheses, it says volume. You're either gonna get this window or you're gonna get the easy view window. But once this pops up, you're going to move the knob that you want to assign to that volume parameter. So as you can see, once I move it, it starts to move within logic as well. So now I'm gonna close this out before I hit any other buttons because I don't want those buttons to control that parameter as well. Make sure to close this, otherwise it's gonna be a cluster. Now that that's closed and I can still move this and it is still moving within Logic. Now moving on to the pan, same thing, just move it just a little bit and go back up here, go to Logic, Control Surfaces, Learn, and hopefully pan is in parentheses. Click pan and then move your knob and now look, it moves, okay, close it, always close it. Now let's talk about plugins. What can we control using the knobs on our MIDI controller within Logic's um, instrument plugins? For example, maybe I wanna control this cutoff. I'm just gonna move this, same thing, go up here, Logic Pro, control surfaces, learn assignment for cutoff, you know the drill, move the knob, Oh, wow, it moves, yes. Now close it, always close it. Now this is really convenient when you're playing your keys and you want to add the automation live. So for example, I'm gonna play a chord and now I'm going to use the knob on the keyboard to control the cutoff and listen to how it sounds. just allows you to add some more character to your tracks, create some more movement within your sounds rather than keeping it just in the box. Now moving on to third-party plugins. I'm going to pull up Omnisphere and I'll show you what you will need to do. Now let's say I want to control the delay amount using my knob on my Akai MPK Mini. I'm going to right click on the fader and I'm going to click MIDI CC Learn. Now I'm going to move the knob on the Akai MPK Mini and it should control it. And it does. Now I'm gonna pull up Contact and I'm gonna show you how to program parameters in this. Let me show you how to control the effects within analog strings or really any plugin that's in Contact. So say I want to control the gain, you're gonna right click and go Learn MIDI CC Automation and move one of the knobs and there you are. And this is a way that you can just really create some life within your tracks and like I said, get out of the box basically. You wanna create a more humanized feel with all of your productions. So this is one of the ways that you can do that. And I'm gonna show you how I utilized automation within this beat. First, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like without the automation and then what it sounds like with the automation. So let's check it out. and now with the automation. And remember, what it's doing is it's moving this retroplex delay amount. So as it plays, you can see it moving. All right, and that is how you hook your MIDI controller 
knobs, faders, whatever, you can use this exact same method with any kind of um, assignable knob or fader on your MIDI controller within Logic Pro. But now let's play the beat. have it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already hit the subscribe button as well as that little bell so you can get more notifications of when i post and if you're interested in any of the products that i used in this video or that i use in other videos they are all in the link in the description box below and if you use those links they definitely help support the channel and i appreciate that so thank you but i will catch you guys in the next video peace